Hey, it's the Fort Worth Playboy. And my Playboy's Bunny. Welcome to our podcast where we discuss pickup, game, relationships, and... Sex, sex, sex. Today's topic, always remember the basics. Seriously. The basics... (laughs) This sounds so stupid. The basics are there for a reason. I mean, you have to have a solid base and keep those things in play to do the more advanced stuff. People tend to forget the foundational items and like, it's like they become math geniuses, but they forget what two plus two is. That I, we're seeing that a lot. And guys are like, hey, you know, my system isn't working, but it's because they've dropped some of the very basic things yeah. that they had mastered early on. And everything we're going to talk about today is in basic training one and two. Yes. Because these are like foundational items that I learned over time that we take for granted that everyone knows, but they don't. Because these are like the things that like your parents or your your dad would pass on. Yeah. Or buddies or other players or you just hanging out in the locker room. Guys that were good with girls were like, you know, just trash talk. And I would say the basic training books, they are they apply, I think, equally to people who are guys who are out on the dating market and men who are the fathers and the family man. Like, it's not just if you want to be, you know, fucking your way around the world tactics. Exactly. It truly is basic knowledge that every man needs to know. Yeah, it's it's both dating and etiquette. Yeah. At the end of the day. Yeah. Because there's a lot of things and these are and you pick it up in the military. You pick it up in any in any male dominated space. Yeah. Um, but these lessons aren't passed on as much in the last twenty or thirty years. No, they're not. Mostly because of Broken more homes. internet. Yeah. yeah. Dad's not not available, or dad's a beta himself. And that's what I've had a lot of guys say. They go, "My dad knows less than I did." Right. You know. Right. I mean, so or the happy wife, happy life guys, and that's. That's normal. You know, right. that's who's the majority out there. But um, tell, tell them in a short <laughs> story. I have a girlfriend who went on a date, and she, she's on the dating market. She's 50 years old. Like, she's, she's getting a lot of great attention. Um, and she, ne- she never, she generally never says anything negative about these guys. She's like... He was really nice, but he just wasn't a good fit. You know, he was really nice, but he kind of wanted something different than I want. And it's, you know, but she's always very kind. Well, this time she said, I went out with the most vile man I've ever, I've ever been on a date with. She said, all he could talk about was craft beer, politics, and he had the worst breath I've ever experienced in my life. And in that case, the man wasted everyone's time. Everyone's time. He wasted his time. He wasted her time. He wasted the wait staff's time. He wasted money. He wa- Yeah, you name it. He wasted it because he did not know or remember yeah. the basics. The basics. The basics. Hygiene. <sighs> Bad breath will kill more deals. Yeah. It's like, I mean, we come from sales, so... You know, nothing more dangerous than a car salesman with bad breath. No. And it kills deals. Yeah. Because people are like, I got to get the hell out of here. Yeah. And they'll tell you that. So good. You're basically a salesman in that position, you know, for, for all important, all, all intentions. Yeah. Um, But you have to remember, you have to shower before you go. Yeah. You have to check your hands, make sure they're clean. You got to brush your teeth. You've got to like use mouthwash, whatever right. you have. Just... The basics. It kind of surprised me, like, how many girls would say, like, evening dates during the week, that they would go home from work and shower and then... Absolutely. And they say he'd roll in wearing, like, his his blue shirt from wherever he was... With his logo on it. Yeah, exactly. And she's like, dude, put some effort out, you know? And that's really what girls want to see. You want to make it look effortless. Yeah. You know, like, any good thing... Pros make it look like they didn't put any effort out, even right. though you race home, you at least take a quick shower, you put on fresh clothes, you brush your teeth, you show up. You right. Know. Um, well, like Hussein Bolt, I love that quote from him where he says, I trained 
four years for for a four second run. Mm -hmm. It's the same kind of thing. You have to make it look like you just showed up and you just had a plan and you took care of things. Yeah, and that's that's and you're ready. That's a demonstration of a good seducer. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, because it just moves them in the right direction, and then your topics is a very basic thing what you avoid at all one thing is alcohol these are almost two separate topics like right. the ipas every girl over the age of 21 <laughs> will be on the on alert for any guy that has a hint of alcoholism in him yeah because she's dealt with a dad a brother a boyfriend um an abusive ex that are truly because there's so many alcoholics yeah so many guys drink to excess um that they're on their guard for this and or they've married one and divorced one right because you know he's losing his mind so you have to be cognizant of drinking and then having a primary topic being alcohol is never a good idea right you know and right. then when we talk about politics to <clears throat> topics to avoid we talk about religion no. yeah politics what else don't get too sexual yeah yeah, that it kills first the body. Day, yeah. I mean, it, it really is kind of counterintuitive, but yeah. guys, guys and girls both like to kind of amp the sexy up once the once the alcohol does start flowing. Yeah, and that can get a little bit too much too quickly, and then it actually blows the deal up. Yeah, Let, let's convey so there's no confusion here. Physically, you can escalate. Yes, but there's no reason to just verbally do it, and then it puts the pressure on her, and she gets uncomfortable. Yeah. You know? So you can push physically to where, you know, in fact, girls will be more forgiving of you pushing physically. Yes, absolutely. Than not trying at all. Or but avoid. I mean, it's basic. This is basic, These you know, basic, basic manners. Yeah. You don't talk. You don't talk sex, religion, or politics in mixed company. I exactly. mean, this is, this is like Emily Post stuff. Yeah. And we try to convey, like, none of this, like, the politics doesn't really matter because... A girl that gets into you yeah. will end up changing her mind about whatever she believes anyway. Yeah. And even girls go, when we tell them this, you when we put it out there, they go, yeah, we do. You know, <laughs> I mean, like they don't even realize it. It's like it's like a radio. They, yeah. They adjust themselves to the frequency. Absolutely. You know? We absolutely do. But just remember, just remember, don't ever go, and if you do end up getting rushed, you know, but kind of have... Um, like the G Manifesto, which was a major guy on um, on Twitter, mm -hmm. he had a pre date routine. Yeah, you know, it kind of goes through the same steps every yeah. time. Yeah. So, and you know, it could be like a ten minute routine. Well, you talk about the pre date routine in your build your dating system. I, do. I talk about the pre date routine in my instant self confidence with women because Huge. when you're prepared, yeah, when you when you go through your steps. You have more confidence. You're more comfortable. You're more confident. You're more calm. Mm -hmm. And this goes a long way in creating that that you know vibe with girls that they're like, ooh, okay. Yeah. I mean, it's it's hard. I mean, that's the thing that I don't think guys realize is you know with seduction and game, you have to focus. Yeah. You know, guys are always like, well, you know, could we go to like a rock and roll club? No, you have to be able to focus on her and her reaction and how she's, you know, what's going on. Exactly. So you need a break from whatever, like if you have a stressful job, you need a, a break period between that and then walking in and meeting this girl. Exactly. You know, because you'll be carrying a lot of like stress. So these are just things that all pay off. But remember, remember or remind yourself of the basics right. every time. And if you kind of get into a rush, just slow down and stop for a second and go, did I get this, 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 and this done? You know, am I ready? And then you can go in, you know? And I will say, guys, gentlemen out there who maybe have breath problems, number one, always brush your teeth. Brush your teeth three times a day. Floss, this also helps reduce the plaque and therefore helps reduce problems with bad breath. Brush your tongue with your toothbrush whenever you are brushing your teeth. This also helps. A lot of gross happens and resides on your tongue. Go to the dentist regularly. These are all very basic things, but I'm trying to help you never have bad breath again, even if it's a medical condition. 
Another great tip is guys will pop, guys and girls alike, but guys will pop a mint in their mouth. And that's kind of like, that's kind of like spraying air freshener in a, in a, in a bathroom. It, it very much like masks it temporarily, but a great way to get around that is instead of using a breath mint, use a piece of like minty gum, like Trident, one of these that la like extra, one of these that lasts an extra long time. Don't chew it, like chew it, get it started, and then just like tuck it into your mouth and just kind of move it side to side. Nobody wants to be on a date with somebody who's chawing on gum, but if she never knows the gum is there, it's constantly refreshing your mouth. And therefore, instead of it being like spraying floral air freshener over over a bathroom that you just shit in, it's actually constantly refreshing uh, your and coating your mouth in like this mintiness. It's so, great. Yeah, it's a good it's a good cheat code. Again, don't chew the gum. Just like chew it, get it started, and then hold it and hide it away. Perfect. Yeah. So we've we've referenced build your dating system today. We've referenced instant self confidence with women. If these two issues are are hiccups for you, we've referenced basic training one and two. If if you don't feel like your grandfather or your dad or your your favorite uncle or a coach at your school, if you don't feel like you were ever like really taken under your under the wing by some man, then you probably have holes in your foundational learning. So pick up those basic training books and they will go a long way in making sure that you know all the stuff that you need to know that's foundational, that are the foundational lessons. If you like this podcast, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. We want you to win. Bye!